I made the mistake last doctor's appointment to make my next doctor's appointment for 8 a.m. thinking that maybe Zach would be able to come to the doctor's appointment that early only to find out that he can't. So not only is it 18 degrees outside <laughs> but also my kids are really tired and I'm really tired we don't normally get out by 8 o'clock so we're gonna try and do this I am excited for another doctor's appointment um, always an exciting time for us pregnant women um, oh, she does. Out of way. Red mm -hmm. I had to wait hot red pig it yeah watch out oh, where's that why is this so hot Goodbye. <laughs> what? What? You're saying goodbye to the elf? Yeah. Okay, go. We're all freezing. Goodbye, elf. Do you ever find yourself um, getting out of the house at a different time than you normally do? Like, I don't normally get out of the house until like 9.30 or 10 if I do get out of the house. And we're out at 8 o'clock and it's a totally different crowd this time of day. It's like the school crowd, school kids crowd. Parents dropping their kids off at school, people trying to get to work. I guess you can call that rush hour. <laughs> but I do like it when I can get out early and like, like before the sun comes out. I, it's a little refreshing for me, so. That's a cool part of today, even though it's 18 degrees outside. We can see our breath in the car. <sighs> <laughs> what do you say? Hey, how are you? Good. 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 Um, no, I think that's it. All right, there should be up for you. Soon. Thanks. It's not again because it comes over again. Yeah. So Porter, you know what I'm not excited for today? What? I have to get a shot I today. It. I it. I it. Yeah, I'm not excited about getting a shot. I haven't had a shot since I was nine years old. Just kidding. Tara? Fun fact, this is the shirt and sweats combo that I got in order to wear at the hospital after Piper was born. It's a good outfit. I wear this shirt all the time. If you guys go back and watch, I wear this shirt a lot in the vlog. Nobody wants to get that many show. Doctor. Time to get the shot. I'm like really nervous about this. All right, so this appointment was probably the quickest appointment I've ever had. It wasn't my normal doctor because my doctor actually just had a baby herself, which I guess is the risk you take when you choose a woman doctor. <laughs> She pretty much just like measured my belly. I like took my blood pressure and weight and everything. Oh, and then and then she checked the baby's heartbeat, found it pretty quickly, very easily. He was moving around, so I wasn't really worried about not finding the heartbeat. I was really, really short, and then she asked questions, and I kind of totally blanked about questions I wanted to ask. I didn't really have a lot. I had more last week because or the last appointment because I had been feeling a little like weird, but I mentioned how I sometimes either get dizzy or just like short of like I have shortness of breath and so she was just explaining how like being pregnant is really trying on your body and so if things are happening that like you're getting dizzy or um, just things like that if your body's telling you that you need to like either eat more or drink water um, do things like that yeah it's kind of Kids are ready to go. Uh, really good. Oh, and then I got my shot, and it really wasn't that bad. I always get nervous. I'm a nervous shot getter, but it didn't hurt that bad. It was the D tap for whooping whooping cough. Um, it will help me and the baby to have this shot so that we can both um, not get whooping cough, which would be a bummer if we did. So right when we leave for Arizona for Christmas is when I'm going to be needing to start doing weekly visits. So I'm going to miss a couple of weekly visits to the doctor, um, which is, it's just like bad timing. I wish that we weren't so close to the holidays and traveling, um, but I just, I really want to go home for the holidays. Is that too much to ask? Um, but my next appointment also will be the one where they check to see how effaced I am and, and or like if I'm dilated or effaced at all. So that'll be exciting. What baby? But I'm feeling pretty good. I'm definitely feeling stretched out and big. My belly is just like, it's not big, but the baby is big and so my stomach just feels like it's being stretched all the time. Porter, do you have anything to say? No. No? Okay, that's it for today, you guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Bye!